Hey yo, what's poppin'? Everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome here for the first time. If you are here for the first time, my name is Prado G and I am bringing to you today a reading for the wonderful, seductive, and sometimes scary Scorpios. <laughs> Let me stop. No, but for real, Scorpios are savages. My brother's a Scorpio. Shout out to the Scorpios out there. The often misunderstood sign. Um, we love Scorpios from October 23rd to November 22nd is the month or the season of Scorpio. Shout out to the Scorpios. We love Scorpios. I love Scorpios. I love all signs. Shout out to all the signs. That's why I am doing readings for every sign on my channel now. Um, Scorpios, shout out to your passion. Um, also, Scorpios tend to be very like, I don't know, sexual in a sense. Upstairs. Sorry, y'all. My dogs came out here acting like they're about to interrupt my reading, and no, they're not. So, in this reading, Scorpio, we're going to be talking about what you got going on in your head right now, what subconscious uh, blocks might be affecting you, the challenges that you are facing, um, what you are consciously choosing to do, possibly um, future hopes and fears, your environment, and a potential outcome for you. So, Whatever resonates, resonates. Whatever doesn't, doesn't, Scorpio. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't for someone else to take. All right, so the first card popping up today for the Scorpios are mm, Ten of Cups in reverse. So the Ten of Cups, anytime the cup shows up, it's speaking to your emotions. So right now, this is like some emotional connection going on, some sort of desire for um, emotional contentment, a family, um, and forward motion, like prosperity. But since the card is in reverse, it's like, you know, right now you are feeling a little bit out of, you're out of balance with that loving connection that you are desiring in your life, that emotional um, ending, you know, that you are looking for. So when the Ten of Cups is in reverse, it speaks to broken family, disjointed or um, blocked intimacy. So it's speaking to pretty much a family blockage that's going on, or like you and your family. Um, you're having some sort of blockage going on in your family and there's some lack of intimacy going on in these connections. So picture perfect is within your reach, but slightly outside your grasp, you are experiencing an emotional block that is holding you back from obtaining your ideal relationships. Mm. So it's something inside of you emotionally that you are blocking flow. So it's affecting your um, relationships. Like there's ideal relationships that you wanna have right now, but you can't really have them with this blockage showing up, Scorpio. So quarrels and arguments with your friends and family are stopping you from enjoying the time you have with loved ones. Be example or be the example and restore the peace. Treat others with the love and care that you want to be treated with and they will eventually follow suit. Exactly. It's like you can't wait, Scorpio, until other people be nice. If you really want to start to feel better now, you got to make it your business to feel better now. You can't be looking at other people like, oh, well, they're not feeling good, so I can't feel good. Yes, you can. It's up to you. And the sooner that you can allow the emotional blockage to free up within you, then other people will come around too if they have any emotional blockages. This could also speak to your own values if you are staying true to yourself. Like, you got to ask yourself, are you staying true to yourself? And um, balance is currently not a priority and as a byproduct, you are neglecting your relationships in the process. So align yourself with your truth and reconnect with yourself and the rest will fall into place, Scorpio. Okay? So you got to find that balance. That's more important than anything. The second card showing up for you is the lovers in reverse. See, yes, there's some sort of loving connection that you are blocking. You want love, but you're blocking it, Scorpio. You are a lover, but right now this is showing like an imbalance or your shadow side popping up. It's like you're not bringing that harmony and balance into this loving connection that you claim and that you want right now. And that's your challenge. It's a little bit challenging for you right now, Scorpio. It's like it's, you're finding it hard for you to love for whatever reason, whatever somebody did to you. I don't know. Let's see. Subconsciously, temperance. Okay, it's because things are out of balance, though. You have a... um. Yeah, hold on. And impatience, too. Like, some sort of lack of impatience. <laughs> it's like... The temperance in reverse says imbalance, discord, or frustration. See? So, Scorpio, there's some sort of frustration that you're holding on to. Life feels off balance, leading you to have anxiety and stress. So, right now, your anxiety and stress might be a little bit high, Scorpio. You, um... 
Pri prioritizing activities so that you can experience more joy on a daily basis is important, okay? So you need to prioritize your activities so that you can have, be joyful because if you don't tend to what is important to you and you don't prioritize, then that's another thing that's making you feel frustrated with yourself. Manage the activities that you don't enjoy by releasing obligations or asking for help, okay? So you can ha ask for some help and release some obligations that you put on yourself. You make yourself feel like you have to do certain things you don't have to do, Scorpio. All right? <laughs> you don't have to do some of these things that you don't want to do sometimes. You, um, But make way for clarity and feed your soul with nourishing love, okay? Build that foundation for freedom now, okay? Like you need to build a foundation because right now it's looking a little unstable for you, Scorpio. And it's okay because you getting this reading now. So we're going to help you. We're going to guide you through this process. What is the uh, future looking like? Or, or not the future, sorry, the past for Scorpio. What is the past card showing up in Scorpio's energy for this read? Okay, it's okay, Scorpio. If you're feeling a little out of balance, love is waiting for you. We know you want it. I know you want that love, Scorpio, and it's coming. Like I said, people, you are so misunderstood sometimes, Scorpio, and I understand you. Uh, you just need to take time to understand yourself. Because <laughs> how do you expect other people to understand you when you're not creating that time to understand yourself? So the Queen of Wands pops up. as, And um, the Queen of Wands, normally upright, is very vibrant, passionate, creative, forward moving, feminine energy. Right now, this past is speaking to a blockage of feminine energy where you have felt less creative, um, not really tapping into nature. No, midnight, stop. You're not going outside right now. Okay, um, the Queen of Wands just speaks to like, maybe even a woman, like say for example, if you are a man watching this reading, maybe it was a woman in your past that uh, you fell out of touch with or um, out of balance with, and she was there for you, ready to bring some creativity and spark into your life, but you, <laughs> you did not cherish her in the past and now you kind of feeling it. Oh, wow. I don't know. Or maybe even just with yourself. You wasn't as nurturing to yourself in the past and you didn't really embody your own creative spirits like you could and should be every day. So this is speaking to an imbalance in the past for you, Scorpio, that um, is kind of affecting why you are where you are now. But the Scorpio, oh my gosh, the tower, the tower is collapsing and you have room, you have time to get out of the way. So it's like when the tower shows up in a reading, it's speaking to somebody's old belief systems or your old way of life coming to an end. It's crumbling so that a new thing can be built. It's like the tower falling so that you can build something new and better. And when it shows upright, it is showing that you are, you are in, right now you are consciously aware of the tower crumbling, but it's up to you to move though. Like, because there's still a little bit of an imbalance happening subconsciously with you, Scorpio. And even though you know that there are these changes <laughs> that are being made in your life right now that are inevitably going to happen. Like this tower, is nothing that you could do to stop this tower from changing. There's nothing that you could do now that you know you need to change some things within yourself, Scorpio. If you don't change it, then you're going to crumble below the tower. And it's going to have a, a worse lasting effect on you. It's going to seem like a little bit harder for you to get out of this situation. So consciously choose to evolve um, and rise above as the tower falls, right? Um, the will of fortune. Oh my God. So it's looking fortunate for you, Scorpio. I love this. So it's like you're taking this reading. No, no, no. The future is looking fortunate. This is your future card. The will of fortune is popping up or the will of, yeah, the will of fortune is coming up to let you know that life is moving forward for you if you just believe um, and accept the change, right? You got to accept the change that's coming your way. Whether you like it or not, faith has stepped in and now is calling the shots, all right? Moving you into a critical phase. So it's like, that's what I was saying. The tower falling, now moving you into like, the wheel is now moving you. It's like your willpower is spiking up in the future because of this tower falling. And you know that this is a new phase of your life that you got to stay up to speed with. You may be feeling like things are outside of your control and they are. You can choose to complain or you can choose to adapt. Which one are you gonna do, Scorpio? There is um, comfort and uncertainty, even if the unknown feels intimidating. A lot of the times we are really intimidated by the unknown because it's like, what? I don't know. I don't know what's about to happen. Like, I know it can be really scary, but you can also find comfort in not knowing because you, without you not knowing, 
there's a chance that something greater beyond what you thought you knew could happen will actually happen. <laughs> So um, contrast is not only necessary, but it's inevitable, right? We got to have the high, the low, the dark, the light, the good or the bad, whatever. You know, we got to have contrast. So just because events feel like they're outside of your control doesn't mean you have to take a back seat. Remain active and avoid complacency, right? Don't get stuck. Don't get stagnant. This will is moving you forward in the future, Scorpio. So trust that this is exactly where you need to be right now. Okay, Scorpio, trust. Um, because you are the fool. And the fool is not a bad card. It just means right now you are starting off fresh. The fool is a beginning. The beginning of everything. You see it's zero so before the one there was zero and that's complete potential it's like the nothingness sometimes you got to go back to feeling like nothing the fool sometimes feels like nothing because the fool is brand new into the experience it's like a brand new start anytime you start something brand new you won't feel like a fool a little bit because you don't know you don't know enough yet and you might even be putting yourself in danger at times so slow down um, but you are the fool. So this is a good card to let you know that there's a brand new start happening for you and some great potential taking place. Uh, and you know that like you're aware of the fact that it's a new beginning and you're living life on the edge or you're on the leading edge, ready to step out into new security. It might be a little scary, um, but be aware, be smart. The Ten of Wands is you, Scorpio, taking on way too freaking much. See, this is your environment card, Scorpio. I knew it. You put too much on your back, Scorpio. You are taking on way too much responsibility and not allowing other people to help you. Or when other people say that they want to help you, you're like, oh, no, I got it. Because you want to show that you're strong. And that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay Scorpio I promise it's okay we know you strong Scorpio you ain't got nothing to prove to us just uh share some of that responsibility okay you are not obligated to take on all of the weight of the world um but it is your duty to handle what you need to handle like you do have responsibilities of your own that you need to tend to you can't be like worried about what the outer world is doing something like you got to get yourself in together first because this is talking about all that you have to carry through persistence, late nights, and hard work, you have achieved your accomplishments. Now that you've built your creative baby, this is something um, that you really want to maintain and allow to grow. With this new venture comes a set of new obligations, right? You're on a new path now, so there's new things that you must do. Um, and you may feel burdened by the responsibility and think that you have to do it all on your own. So, like, especially if it's dealing with your emotions and stuff like that, because I know Scorpios have a hard time doing that at times. Um, the Scorpios that I know, at least. Um, but you don't have to do it on your own. There are people in your corner that want to help you with this, right? Because it's all of our responsibility to look out for one another and to contribute to this world. So consider expanding and delegating your ca uh, tasks so that you are not carrying all of the weight on your shoulders. Don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it, okay? Prioritize what you actually uh, enjoy doing and identify your strengths and weaknesses. Allow others to help you with your tasks. Um, that don't give you joy and focus on the big picture, right? Like help, let other people help you with the stuff that you feel like uh, is, is a little bit pressure for you. By releasing the weight of your burdens, you are prioritizing yourself, Scorpio. You don't have to do it alone. So <laughs> you are prioritizing yourself by releasing some of these burdens off of your back and you should. You should and could. You could and should. And I know you would if you felt like it was easier. And it is the more you think about it being easier and you just do something. To make it better right so the hang woman this is like um you resisting surrendering right now you want to surrender you want to give in to the higher oh excuse me you want to give in scorpio to the higher purpose but something is blocking you from giving in like you're afraid to give in for whatever reason you don't want to give in <laughs> you don't want to give in and let love in yo scorpio come on stop blocking this love it's not all on you hold on let's see Mm. So the hang woman in reverse says avoidance, sacrifice or delay. So right now you are avoiding something that you really want. This love, like you are delaying the love for you, Scorpio, because you are resistant to something. Putting a lot of effort and energy into a situation or a person is wearing you down. Boom. So right now, ooh, this is just clarifying that it's giving Scorpio... You really want this love and connection with someone. You want to be in a relationship with someone that really loves you, that really understands you, but you need to really love you and understand you. You keep on putting way, way, way too much energy into other people and other situations and neglecting yourself. 
and um you don't have to so like it's wearing you down it's like some sort of relationship you keep trying to make work and it's like the more you force it the more it's weighing you down because you're not getting the results that you want because you need to be working on you instead of trying to work on them or work with them work on you scorpio especially um right now like stop sacrificing your time and values to please other people if you are putting off a decision to avoid confrontation or responsibility it may come back to haunt you the time will come when you will finally have to speak your truth feeling stuck and unfulfilled and it is increasing your awareness of what you do want so you know it's like at the end of the day the more you feel stuck and like oh i don't really, like life is not giving me what i want it's only going to increase your desire to clarify what it is that you really want this suspicion or this suspension in time is actually a blessing in disguise right so right now you're kind of being blocked from this loving connection that you want so bad um simply because it's not for you right now you know mm -mm. because if you get into it it's gonna not it's not gonna work out if you haven't done all the groundwork that you need to within yourself so there's always other options and they will reveal themselves to you as you keep going towards your path so right now if you have been trying to make certain relationships work and it's just not like right now it's just not that important the import the relationship you need to be focusing on is the one with yourself and just keep moving forward because there's more options for you scorpio in the future so you are the magician yes i love this scorpio so this is your outcome card and this is the magician this is the first time i ever pulled the magician in this deck and I've never seen it. So this is beautiful. It's time for you to tap into your feminine energy, Scorpio. Feminine energy is needed right now. Feminine energy. Look at all this feminine energy popped up in your reading. So I kind of feel like this is a reading for a female Scorpio, but it could also be for a male Scorpio who is just so stuck in his masculine side and he refuses to be uh, more soft and delicate to those around him or to himself. Scorpio, come on. You are the magician of your life. You can bring so much magic into your life as long as you balance out the energies and be delicate with the resources and um, this life that you have. You got to be delicate with it if you wanted to turn into something beautiful that you could really cherish and appreciate in the long run. So you are the magician. Keep on bringing your magic. I love you, Scorpio, and um, I hope you resonated with this reading. If not, um, you know, it's okay. Maybe the next one you will, and uh, maybe you might not ever come back again, but it's okay. I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I will see you in the next reading. Peace.